What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we have the HTC U11 Life and I had this device a little over two weeks but I've used it for about a week consecutively. Uh, so I'm going to give you my thoughts, my experience, what I had with the U11 Life in my life. So uh, let's get started. Alright, let's start with some specs. Um, the U11 has a 5.2-inch 1080p display. It is LCD, it's not OLED. It's a very good display, very bright. It's very bright, very sharp and clear in the in the <clears throat> colors. As you can see, very vivid, saturated, almost OLED-like display. There's been a lot of uh, OLED displays plagued with uh, issues. But other than that, you won't find any of those issues here. No blue tinting, no uh, carbo-like texture on the back or anything like that. So uh, you've got a 16, mega, uh, 16 megapixel cameras. I believe it's one in the rear and the front as well. Uh, makes for excellent selfies and uh, video vlogging from the front camera and as well as the rear camera. It is running at Snapdragon 630 with four gigs of RAM, and it does have a 26 milliamp hour battery. Um, a little small, but uh, it's not bad. Battery life on this device has been very good and efficient, uh, and it's because of the 600 series. The Snapdragon 600 series are very uh, battery efficient. It does uh, not box. have a uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but it does have a uh, USB type C port and that's about it um, no other ports are found here that is your speaker and then the port the type C port is off to the right corner but they do include these earphones here uh, they're USonic ACC USonic earphones and uh, it's a good thing they included these because these things are a beast man these things thump uh, so a little bit later on these itself. Let's continue. Uh, the phone it, it the phone itself is IP67 water resistant, dust and water resistant. So it's good. You got some sort of waterproof in here. So if you drop it in water, it's not going to get damaged. Performance. This has been, for me, very good. Um, very snappy. Uh, it tends to lag sometimes and I believe it's just the HTC Sense uh, little bugs here and there but overall a good performer um, gaming plays games very well um, I only play two games which is uh, Clash Royale and it handled that game with the breeze and uh, the Marvel the Marvel Champions where you battle each other and uh, that one's a little bit more graphical intense game but it also handles that with a breeze I did a little bit of screen recording but I did notice while I was playing that game and, sh and screen re recording at the same time the phone did tend to slow down and it was getting hot but it was it's probably because it couldn't handle those two major tasks at the same time uh, it did manage to record about three minutes of footage and then uh, the screen recording just stopped it said uh, it was uh, getting too hot so it just stopped which is understandable this is a Snapdragon 630 it's not a, a flagship Snapdragon processor like the 835 or the 821 but overall it's still good um, your gaming's there your performance is there it handles day-to-day -day tasks with the breeze you're not gonna have no hiccups or anything um, I have the U11 and it almost seemed, it's not as snappier as, as the U11, but it, it didn't make me seem like I was uh, operating a mid-range phone. It just, everything just feels good. It just feels right. It, it It's just perfect. You know, you're not going to have no hiccups, uh, phone call quality, text messaging, all that stuff, social media. You're going to be able to do that with this phone with the breeze. The speaker's a little... Well, to me, it's a little weak. Uh, let's 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 put it to a test. See if you can hear it here. Let's give you a little speaker example. Now, the speaker is just one bottom firing speaker here. Let's see if you can. Thank you. 
So the speaker is loud, uh, but to me, it's just uh, it just sounds a little bit on the cheap side, probably because it's encased in plastic, and you get this weird vibration here. A little bit more on that, uh, but the good thing about that, it doesn't matter because once you plug these babies in right here, these these ACC U U Sonic <clears throat> headphones, it's a world of a difference. You plug these in. Uh, it, it does this active uh, noise cancellation where it does this profile tune for your ears and believe me It's just a world of a difference. You can't go wrong with these and it's great that HTC provided these you sonic earphones with a $300 phone um, It doesn't get better than that. The pixel 2 doesn't even come with earphones, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of major phones don't come with earphones and these are not only any regular earphones they're type c earphones that are phenomenal they thump i wish i can use these with my pixel but i really can't i don't know why it says they, these accessories are not compatible with um the pixel phone uh like i said other than that the speaker it's not really going to matter because if you want to listen to music you're going to plug those earphones and you're going to rock rock out man those things are freaking awesome um but other than that the speaker does get a little loud but like i said just to me it just sounds a little bit on the weak uh cheap side or uh and i think it's because the casing of the phone like i explained earlier now the cameras the cameras have been good um not the best but very very good i did take these out Took a couple of low light pics. Uh, these are worth the pics over here. Um, some of these pics right here are just amazing. You know, I did take these out. I will have a uh, little camera samples and video samples at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned. But uh, it's not a bad camera. This camera is handles pictures very well. But again, I compare this against my Pixel and obviously it doesn't have the, the image processing and it's not the camera's fault, it's not the sensor fault, it's, it's just the Snapdragon 630 doesn't have the same image processing that the 835 does. So the 835 is going to handle a picture and process it way better and make it look 10 times better but won't be disappointed with this camera you'd be very happy for $300 you don't know what you have you know it is great the only thing I don't like about it is the the tactic feedback the vibrator which I took it off whenever this phone vibrates it makes it feel cheap and that's one of the downfalls on this phone um, I, as soon as I took the vibration off anything uh, the phone was more enjoyable because every time I got a text message I typed you know when you type on the keyboard it vibrates every time this phone vibrates it reminds you that it's made of plastic and it's cheap I did not like that as soon as I did away with the vibration it's like I didn't even notice that this phone was a mid-ranger I got through my day through the week no problems no ease I did not miss any other phone I did not sit back and say man I wish I had my pixel or I wish I had this phone or anything this phone did it all and did it all well so there you have it HCC you life thumbs up in my book great phone uh, mid-ranger $300 all the stuff you get flagships almost features uh, actually flagship speak features and a mid-range tier uh, Headphones, waterproofing, great display, great battery, 16 megapixel front and rear cams, uh, fingerprint scanner. Fingerprint scanner is awesome. Very fast, quick. Like I said, the only thing I don't like about this phone is that it's plastic belt, but once you turn off the vibrator, or the vibrator, that tactic feedback uh, vibrator motor, it will make you forget that it's made of plastic this thing is awesome 
thank you for watching guys stay tuned for the little camera samples and the video samples that I have for you guys and uh, thank you like comment and subscribe I'll catch you guys on the next one peace What they're doing over there, huh? Welcome to my life. This is the new life.